So my uh, time on the Workplace Fairness Board is coming to an end after many years. Uh, when I joined the board, uh, we had a different name uh, and a somewhat different uh, method of delivering uh, the mission, which is to try and assist unrepresented individuals with employment issues uh, in learning what their rights are and hopefully enforcing those rights. Um, when this organization uh, began, it was the brainchild of Paul Tobias and other founders of the National Employment Lawyers Association, and it's grown and changed over the years. Um, but the mission and the concept that Paul had many years ago of uh, trying to reach the many, many workers uh, who are unrepresented by either unions or attorneys in uh, the United States and educating those workers about their rights and empowering them to take uh, action to protect those rights is, has been the motivating uh, message behind the organization for many years. Um, with the advent of the internet, yes, we were around almost before it uh, was, a, was a major source of information. Uh, but with the advent of the internet, uh, our website became the primary method of delivering that uh, message and delivering that information to workers, uh, although we use other means as well. But uh, I've been proud to be part of this organization for the many years that I've served. And now that I'm transitioning and uh, to a little bit slower pace of practice, uh, I'm uh, backing off of that uh, service on the board. Uh, but I'm very pleased to have serve the time that I have and to leave the organization in excellent hands and an excellent financial and uh, condition and also uh, excellent condition as far as it's serving its mission. So uh, with that, I'll leave the, uh, the good work of the organization to others and happy to continue to help any way I can. Just as a little uh, throwback, uh, however, I'd like to, to um, just display if I can. I don't know if this will come across on the video, but uh, this is uh, an award that uh, my partner, uh, former partner, law partner, Beth Piles, now minister, and I were given back, um, I don't know, in another century <laughs> uh, by a, an organization called NERI, which was the uh, National Employee Rights Institute and the name of the Workplace Fairness uh, organization before it was Workplace Fairness, uh, back when we had other staff, other directors. And uh, I'm proud to note that um, uh, Wayne Alton, was, who's still on the board, uh, was president at the time. Uh, Paul Tobias was the chair of the board. And uh, Terry Chaw, who uh, was the executive director of, um, of uh, the National Employment Lawyers Association for many years, was a board member at that time, uh, along with other distinguished folks, um, definitely not including myself. But uh, I'm proud to display this award uh, many years later. Uh, it was actually given, uh, given to us around the turn of the century. So it's been many years, uh, many decades, and even a couple of centuries, uh, but the work continues. All right.